I see my mom is sending in the big guns. No, Lily didn't send me. In fact, I don't, I don't think she's a fan of mine right now. What happened? Honestly, I don't know, but I really wish I did because then maybe I could explain it to everyone. What's the last thing you remember? Like, what do you know for certain? Heading into the party to look for you. You were the one that I came to kiss. You and only you. It's the last thing I'm certain of. It's the only thing I still am. Get your stuff. Hey. If I don't remember what happened in this photo, I, who knows what else I did that I don't remember. No, don't do that to yourself. Thank you for being the one person who believed in me. Even though Turns out you were wrong, too. I wasn't wrong to believe in you. I still do. I always will. Mom's downstairs. You ready? How many times I've wondered if we'd ever make it to this day, and now here we are. No doubt, thanks to your wonderful parenting. Mm -hmm. I know. Last minute inspiration. How is she? Oh, great. Not nervous at all. I am. I need a drink. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like throw my hands up in the air. Hey, sorry I'm late. Looking good. I know I can count on you. Sometimes I feel like saying, Lord, I just don't care. You've got the love I need to see me through. Sometimes it seems the going is just too rough. And things go wrong no matter what I do. When food is gone, you are my daily need. Oh. When friends are gone, out of my savior's love you. be rid of Dan Humphrey, but you'll never be rid of me. What time is it? Uh, it's later than either of us wants it to be. <laughs> By that, I mean morning. Oh, my God. No, it's not usually the reaction I hope for when waking up next to a woman. It's not that, and you know it. Oh, last night. Don't even finish those words. Unless, unless they end with, was a mistake. I mean, right? Right. Right, my thoughts exactly. I mean, we're, we're both in relationships. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was totally meaningless. I mean, we just fell asleep. Yeah, after an entire bottle of wine and, and a whole lot of talking. And one kiss. Did that even happen? I'm not sure, I'm not sure that happened. You know, all I remember is, is you falling asleep on my arm and then my not being able to move it. In fact, I don't even know if I still can. Like, yeah. I, I was just upset and, and you were there for me. It was just a couple of old friends falling into a comfortable pattern for a minute or 10. And I love Nate. I love Vanessa. Wait, do we have to tell anyone? Not in your life, no. I mean, there's no reason to explode our whole world just for some 
meaningless kiss between old friends. Whatever this was, it's just between us, so it's not like we can't keep that safe. Yeah. Call me if you need anything. Okay. All right. Now, that was a mistake. It was completely random. It was gravity. Okay. You're Bye. going for the hug. I, I went for the... Oh, God, I know. I know. Which part, exactly? Was it the kissing me part or the him finding out part? Or wait, was it the part where he asked us if we have feelings for one another? All of the above. I need to tell Vanessa. She, she's got to hear this from me. You guys really are happy, aren't you? Yeah, we, uh, yeah, we are. Definitely, but I, you know, I can't lie. Knowing someone so well, you think it's going to be easier, but in a lot of ways, it just it makes it harder. Maybe ignorance really is bliss. Mm, is that why it was so easy with us? Maybe because we were strangers? Yeah, sure. Everything was a discovery. This unknown person who can do or think anything. <clears throat> well, that was perfectly timed. Very. It's Vanessa. Good news is she does not get Gossip Girl blasts in Haiti, but she does get Nate's texts, and he sent her that photo. How could he do that? How could he not? Hey. Hey, you're back. Yeah, just. I, I literally drove here from the airport. Well, you look tan. Well, it is summer in Buenos Aires. That's right, the southern hemisphere of beauty of I the broke up with Aaron. Oh. When? About three hours after we left New York. Which was maybe not the brightest idea on a 15-hour flight. When I landed, I got an email from my mom saying that she and your dad weren't going to be together now or ever. I know, I, I tried calling you before you left. If you knew, you'd, I mean, you, you know, you could have called or, or emailed. Of course, unless you didn't want to. No, I needed to make sure that when the dust settled, we, we still felt the same. And do you? Yes. Do you? Spotted S and Lonely Boy kicking off the new year like it's last year. Who knows, maybe third time's a charm. But let's not break out the bubbly just yet. Hey. Oh, hey, this is my news. When I was in Buenos Aires. A postcard would have been fine. I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna go vomit now. Happy New Year. She just needs time. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen, I have an idea. Uh, you asked class today. Is it, is it by any chance incredibly, unmissably fascinating? Why do you have something in mind? you for me. I'm a huge fan of your book. It will make such a great movie. Gatsby for the social media age. So she's not around? She stepped out. Maybe I can help. Can you explain to me why she told Nikki Fink that you had the option? I'm sorry? What are you talking about? Serena does work for you, doesn't she? False leaks are for amateurs. Serena said she knew you. She'd get me the book. I would never have instructed her to go behind your back to do so. I've known Serena forever. I have a hard time believing that she would sabotage me unless you made her. Serena, do you have anything to say for yourself? Jane didn't make me do it. It was my own idea. You scared away everyone, and now no one wants the book. Dan, huh? Your apology this morning was just strategic, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Look, I finally finished the book. I and... told you, it, it's not you. <sighs> yes, there are, there are parts of you. And Daisy Buchanan, and Amy March, and Gwyneth Paltrow, five different roles she's played. But it's a novel. It's inspired by a lot of things. It isn't speaking to some deeper truth. Are you sure? Because I know this may sound crazy or, or selfish or like I'm living in the past or something. But you are the love of my life, Dan. I don't know. I, I guess I just thought it was yours, too. That's 
the thing about writing what you know? Soon, everybody else knows it too. Hey. Hey. Uh, I thought about what you said earlier. And how can either of us know who the loves of our lives are until we're, uh, <laughs> until we're old, you know? I mean, this, this thing's not over yet, right? And, uh... I told Alessandra that I'm giving you the book rights. No, you don't have to do that. I wasn't trying to guilt you into it. No, I know, I know. But without you inspiring me from the beginning, I, I, I wouldn't have been able to write anything, so I owe you one. And despite the events of the day, you know, I trust you. Uh, I do have one condition. I want to write the screenplay. I'll talk to Jane right away. All right. Oh, you know what? That's my dad. Uh, he's on the other line. I'll see you soon, though. Yes, in very long development meetings. <laughs> okay. How do you know it was Miss Vander Woodson's if you didn't read it? And if you're not a guest at the hotel, what were you doing here? What? Uh, look, when... Prince Charming found Cinderella's slipper, they didn't accuse him of having a foot fetish. Uh, and you're Prince Charming? Well, there's Miss Vander Woodson now. No, uh, no. Serena. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Hey, um, no. do you know this young man? She doesn't know me. Nobody knows me. It's cool. It's fine. Uh, from last night, right? I'm, I'm sorry about that. You remember me? She remembers me. Well, he claims he found your cell phone. Oh, you found it. Hey, Mom. Guess what I got for you? A dress for kiss on the lips. I saw the invitation on the nightstand. Oh, uh, I'm not going to that. What do you mean, Blair's throwing it? Yeah, um, see, the problem is, uh, but by the time I got the invitation, I, um, actually already had plans. Plans with whom? My friend. Uh, yeah, hi, uh, nice to meet you, Mrs. Vander Woodson. I'm Dan Humphrey. What are you and Dan Humphrey doing? We... Uh... Uh, uh we're, we're going to a concert tonight. Lincoln Hall. Yeah, Rolling Stone named them one of the top ten forgotten bands of the 90s. Woo! I'm a huge fan. Mm. Well, this party would have been the perfect opportunity for you to announce your return. But I guess I'll just uh, keep the dress for myself. Thank you. Yeah, no, I... It's not a problem, really. So you'll pick me up at 8? You really go out with some guy you don't know? Well, you can't be worse than the guys I do know. display of PDA. Of course. And that's exactly what Dan Humphrey is. Pretty damn angry. No, 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 Dan, 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 wait. No, thank you. No, I, I didn't expect to see you. you. You completely surprised me. Well, I have to say, you didn't. Nate, huh? I guess even bad history repeats itself. No, it's not what it looked like. Let me guess, there's an explanation? Yes, of course. I was just trying to help him make someone jealous. Who? Well, I, I can't say. Why not? Oh, well, I'm sure you can't tell me that either. No, I can't, but that's not the point. No, that's exactly the point. It can never just be a simple answer with you. It can't just be I kissed Nate. It has to be I, I kissed Nate because someone I can't name needed to see it for a reason I can't explain. It's the same drama difference. Hi, 
Hi, what are you doing here? I came with a date. I'm glad I did. Because since I know her date, the two of us got to meet. Yeah, and then we got to talking. We figured out that the other night at Jeremiah Harris's reading, when you were making out with me, you were supposed to be with me. You can explain. So I, I, I went a little overboard. A little? Yeah, it's true. I did. And I hate that I'm even able to say this, but it's, um, it's not the first time that something like that has happened. I, uh, I haven't been able to get you out of my head all summer. I was, I was hoping when I saw you I would know that we did the right thing. But I, I don't feel that way. I don't feel that way at all. Um, can we not talk about this right now? Um, right now, I just need to make sure my grandfather's suit from the 70s isn't ruined forever. Yeah. More than it already was by being my grandfather's suit from the 70s. <laughs> 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 I missed that little laugh of yours. When words get in the way, there's really only one thing left to do. <sighs> Let's get out of here. You want to get out of here? Yes. <laughs> While there are others who want each moment to last forever. But everyone can agree on one thing. Tans fade, highlights go dark, and we all get sick of sand in our shoes. But the end of summer is the beginning of a new season. So we find ourselves looking to the future. Best hookups are free of morning breath and awkward conversation. The only thing harder than making up is waking up. How deep is your ocean? How high is your sky? I'd love to put a morning. I'm sorry. I, I'm just a little, um... Overwhelmed? Confused. Last night was... Uh, it was amazing. Uh, and confusing. <laughs> okay. Now I'm, I'm a little confused. Well, it was so romantic what you did, showing up here. And it feels so right to be together. But you're having second thoughts. No, I... I just think that we should think before we get back together, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I thought, I thought this meant we were back together. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, you're not. No, I'm not, <laughs> at all. And neither am I, and I want to keep it that way. But this is a big decision, and we did break up for a reason. Many reasons. But this was never our problem. Okay. I will see you back in the city. Fully clothed. With lots of people. Okay. We'll talk. Yeah, about our problems. Sounds great. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Do you like it? Do you think it's cheesy? <laughs> no. No, no, it's, it's incredible. How did you do this? 
Well, I had help from my elves. The president's waiting for you at home, but um, I did bring a little pre-present for you. Like this is your story. Yeah, it's the original. It's right out of the spiral notebook. I'm kind of scared to read it. But what happened on October 8th, 2005? Um, well, I was accidentally invited to a birthday party where I met a girl. She only spoke two sentences to me. But I've never forgotten that. Are your stories about me? The grass were impressive, but how did you manage the real snow? <laughs> I'm well connected. <laughs> this is without question the best Christmas ever. Ever in the history of Christmas. I hate to break the spell, but uh, we better get home before our families wake up. See why your brother would want to leave. The place is uh, is very depressing. And yet, it's designed to treat depression. He's a good kid, Eric. He is. Yeah. Johnny's not so bad either. Yeah. 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 I, I I know. I know. I just worry about her sometimes. Well, Murray looks cute on you. <laughs> Look, I've seen Jenny in action, and my hunch is she doesn't let herself get pushed in anything she doesn't want to do. No, I, I know. I know. It's just. She's never mentioned that her idea of a great Friday night consists of painting her face full of makeup and stumbling out to a hip bar in high heels and hanging out with a bunch of drunk Wall Streeters who don't even care if she has a name. Well, maybe that wasn't her idea of a great Friday night. What do you mean? It's okay for her to want to be friends with the people she goes to school with. Why? I'm not. Uh-huh. And if you made half the effort she did, maybe we would have met a long time ago. That's true. And so maybe you would have kissed me already. No five-star restaurants. No town car. No spooky pool hall or bad 80s music. Looks like we finally found common ground. needs to keep an eye on her heart. We hear it may have been stolen by Lonely Boy. Putting out an APB, Gossip Girl. You told Jenny about Blair and Chuck? No. No, of course not. Oh, well, you're the only one I told. And I didn't tell anybody. How can I know that? Because I gave you my word. Because I love you. What? I love you. And not just because I thought you were pregnant. And not in the way you love some random guy who picks up your lit paper or some girl who likes your hair. Oh. 
Okay. Okay. The response is not okay. Hey, what are you doing here? I need to know why you love me. <sighs> because I do. I really want to trust you when you say those words, Dan. So maybe if I knew why, I'd stop being so scared of hearing them and afraid to say them. Okay. Well, if you want to talk about why. It has to do with my mom and her many marriages. There. That's why. Because I actually like it when you interrupt me, which is often, by the way. I love you because you make no apologies about being exactly who you are. Beautiful, smart, sexy as hell. Now you're embarrassing me. That's another reason. You're completely unaware of your effect on me. You're also completely unaware that you laugh like a four-year-old. <laughs> Just like that. And I love you because you can be with someone like me and still be best friends with someone like Blair. Yeah, well, I tried to be. I know you do. And that's not easy. But you never give up on her. That is how amazing you are. Well, you're amazing, too. For being able to say all of those things. You just are. And I love you. But I have to go. What? What is it this time? One of the many reasons you love me.